Okay, so what are we doing today? We are practicing. We are practicing, but we're going to practice. Kind, it's kind of like going to the weight room, right? This is, this is going to be kind of like going to the weight room, and you have to work on your weakness. It was pretty even-ish. It was pretty even-ish on the 7.5 skills, 7.4, like the composition of functions, and um, solving. It was almost like 7.4, 7.5, 7.6 in the co composition of functions deal. So I'm going to concentrate on inverses tomorrow. I'll concentrate on inverses tomorrow. But we've got piles up here. Of papers. Um, here's how the piles go. If the, the top of the piece of paper, the one way on the left, and when I say way on the left, if you are in my position at the center of the room, the one way on the left. So from your position sitting down, it's like on the right, okay? So the one on the corner by the graphing cal or by the calculators, that's 7.5. You know what? Let me put this in order, shall I? Un momentito. So, seventh hour. Yours is already in order because I did that. Um, oh, yeah. I am recording. Thank you. Yes, this is my water bottle. Woot woot. Okay, uh, back to the point. Um, now, all the way on my left, your right, is the composition function worksheet. It's going to concentrate on composition of functions. How many checked remind last night with that video? I actually saw Okay, that. all right. So, there is a great video that I believe visually shows you replacing functions in a new way. I will, in a moment, get that up. It's from 7.3. It was the second part of 7.3. Um, okay, so 7.4 composition function worksheet. We've got uh, square and cube root graphing. Okay, we've got square and cube root graphing practice in the middle. My bad, that's with D's, middle. And then all the way on my right, your left, is a coding sheet. Okay, I'll put up the answer to the codes, but this is all about solving. Right? When do we need the plus or minus? When do we not need the plus or minus? Uh, stuff like that. So anyway, I'm going to have answer keys. Seventh hour, the substitute will have the answer keys. So that way you can check your answers. And substitute, please let them uh, come up and just, like, that's your one job is to be in charge of where the answer sheets are. So that way they can constantly check. Ah, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. In a moment, I'm going to pull up that composition function worksheet. Today's weight room. So you're, like, working on your weaknesses. Un momentito. The, okay, I got the video ready. So those of you, I, I think it would be beneficial for all of us to watch. It's, it's only three minutes long. So it's a nice review about composition of functions. I'm going to start it. make things seem much harder than they actually are. This often comes down to either confusing vocabulary or confusing notation. While these words or symbols will always have a purpose and will end up making life easier, when you're first learning them, it can be hard to keep it all straight. The topic that this lesson is on, function composition, is one of those topics. It can seem complicated at first, so let's start small and ease you into it. We'll begin by reviewing what function notation is. Basically, it's just another way of writing an equation. Instead of saying y equals 4x minus 1, we can say f of x equals 4x minus 1. This notation now gives this function a name, f, and allows us to substitute anything we want into it. Instead of f of x, what if it was f of w? That means f of w is just 4w minus 1. We don't have to use symbols either. How about f of 6? Now we just put a 6 in that spot. 4 times 6 minus 1 is 23. We could even use random shapes if we want. How about f of smiley face? 
I just plug that smiley face right in. Which means f of smiley face is just 4 smiley face minus 1. Let's up the difficulty a little bit. Instead of substituting in a single term, what if we try an expression with multiple terms? Maybe f of negative 2m plus 3. Just because it's a bigger expression doesn't mean we do anything different. Where there used to be an x, or a smiley, or a 6, or a w, now I put negative 2m plus 3. That gives us this, 4 times negative 2m plus 3 minus 1, which we can then simplify with the distributive property and combining like terms to end up with our answer, negative 8m plus 11. So as you can see, we can substitute any old thing into a function. So why not another function? That's exactly what a composition of functions is. We take one function and plug it into another one. If we define another function, let's say g of x to be 3x squared, we can then evaluate f of g of x by doing exactly what we have been doing for the last few minutes and just plugging one function into another. We start with the outside function f, 4 times something minus 1. But everywhere that we would normally have put an x, we now substitute in the function g of x. So instead of 4x minus 1, or 4w minus 1, or 4 smiley face minus 1, we have 4 g of x minus 1. But since we know that g of x is just 3x squared, we can substitute that in as well, which makes f of g of x equal to 4 times 3x squared minus 1. Simplifying again gives us our final answer as 12x squared minus 1. And that's it. But composing functions can be difficult because seeing all those letters, f and g and x, can be daunting. Even when you get that part, it can be easy to do the problem backwards and substitute the functions into each other the wrong way. So let's look at an example or two and... Right. Oh, I guess uh, looking at an example or two? Uh, let's freeze on that. Hold on. No, no, stop, stop. Don't do this. Okay. Still no. searching YouTube for math. No. Okay. Going back to the PowerPoint. They look at it in a different way. Remember how I taught you to look at those compositions backwards? Starting at X and then plugging it into G and then plugging it into F? They look at it forwards. So what they do, like, let's just see another example. Hold on. Okay. So let's say F of X is... Let's do something hard. 4x to the negative first power, and g of x is uh, 3x minus 1. So if I wanted to find g of f of x, what they do is they say a normal g of x function, it says start with g of x, that's 4x to the negative 1. But it's no longer going to be g of x. We are now going to use f of x. So instead of x, let me finish. So instead of x, we're now going to put in f's function. Oh, my bad. That's why you were saying wait. Got it, 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 got it. Let's start over. This was what I wanted. That's not what I started with. So 3x minus 1 is what I want to start with. And they talked about how I don't want x. I want f's function. That's what I want there. So instead of this f of x, I'm going to put in 4x to the negative first. And now we've got to simplify whatever that becomes. So it replaces g's x. Let's see what the reverse would look like. So the reverse, if this is my goal, that's my goal. I start with f's function first. So 4x to the negative 1, but I don't want f of x. I want to replace it with g of x. So I replace 
the x with g of x. Well, what is g of x? It's that 3x minus 1. So in that parentheses, I want, let's see if I can fit it, I want 3x minus 1. That's what I need there. It completely replaces x. All right, so seventh hour, I want you to start picking up papers and substitute. You are in charge of giving them access to the answer keys when needed.